back, Daddy. Are you looking at me? Let me finish. I just want you to know that you are such a pastor of love and consistency and patience and understanding and uh, of integrity. You're just awesome and I thank you for everything that you have done. And I want you to know that God is in control. Pastor Mike, I would just like to say you've just been a wonderful man. To me, you're just a prince among men. I really admire you, respect you, and I bless you for being in my life. I feel the same way, Mike. You're you're a wonderful man. I am. And where there's a, a problem, you always come up with a solution. Uh, sometimes that solution is foreign to me, but it always works out. Pastor Mike, you are the epitome of an honorable man. And I just love you with all of my heart. You're the greatest, Pastor Karen. I just want to say I love you, Pastor Karen. And I'm so thankful that God put me in your path and put you in my path. And I'm so glad that you and I get to grow together. Come on in, Pastor Karen. Let's get the lay of the land. Oh, wait, the lay of the land. I think you're awesome. Pastor Karen is one of the people that God uses to remind me that I'm rich. She's the kind of person that's very real. She'll tell you if you have something between your teeth so you don't get embarrassed. I believe the secret to her success is the quantity and the quality of time that she spends with God. And I believe that that helps her help lead this church in finding out what our particular direction is. I love you, Pastor Karen. Thanks for what you invest in me and my family. Pastor Karen has been such a blessing in my life. She is such a person of high integrity and character and she has overcome many obstacles in her life and God has given her such love and compassion for the abused and the hurting in our community and I love her with all my heart. You're the best, Pastor Brian. So Pastor Brian is a great leader of people. One day I was feeling really down on myself because I goofed up a drum solo during a church service and he pulled me aside to encourage me and after talking to me for a while, tr afterwards I truly felt like I am alright. He cares about the little problems. Uh, one time we were in the cafe and it was really cold, no one could do anything, any kind of work. So he goes over to the fireplace, looks up and says, Stand the fire, oh God. Stand the flame. Is Pastor Brian really the best worship pastor in the world? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I will shout the praises of God. All joking aside, we uh, at the uh, worship department of NCC truly believe that Pastor Brian is a great leader. He's a great friend. Great pastor. He's a he's a blessing. He's an inspiring um, leader in my life. He's also a great mentor and encourages us to be mentors for new talent and new people worship leaders. He's a calm and decisive problem solver. He, he's an awesome role model and taught me a lot. We love you. We love, we love you. you. <laughs> hey Brian Cagle, I love you very much and I have a lot of good things to say about you, but I'd rather not show my cards yet. I've only known you 34 years. I'd like to keep that private. Talk to you soon. You rock, Blue. Oh, hi, I'm Melanie Robertson here. I'm just here to tell you about family ministry, partner, position, purpose. Did I tell you about the partner, position, purpose? Hey, get those files on the partner, position, purpose. Nick, we have to do it. I know, I know that's outlandish. I know that's probably, I'm just a hippie from Asheville. You know, in Asheville, this is what we do. You know, when we make our pots and we wear our skirts and we wear our boots, you know, that's just what we do. Yeah. Can I get another cup of coffee? I need coffee. Okay, it's in here. The sticky note is in here. It has all the information we need. Just 
find it, figure it out. I'm blue, I'm blue, I know I'm blue, I'm blue, I'm all over. I'm just right brain, I'm just artistic. It's just how I function, I am blue.